Hey, what's up, family? This is Anthony Miller coming to you with another Sunday School teaching tip. And this one is a little bit different. Um, all of us by now uh, are aware of the place that our country and our world is in as a result of this COVID-19 epidemic, also known as the coronavirus. And this has us in a very interesting place for many of us. We are not meeting in a worship service every single week for the next several weeks. For some, those of us who are meeting, those gatherings will be a lot smaller than we're used to. So that raises a couple of questions that I think are important, even as we consider our responsibility as Sunday school teachers, as Bible study teachers, whatever our role is, is first of all, what are we doing to stay connected with those that are entrusted to our care? How are we reaching out? What text messages have we sent? Have we started a group chat? Have we spent time uh, to make phone calls or whatever just to check in with people? One of the things that we must recognize is that even though maybe because of the situation we're in, the gatherings have been put on a pause, our impact, our responsibility to people should never be paused. So what that means is we still have a responsibility to help make sure that those who are uh, in many ways looking to us for leadership, looking to us for encouragement, even in these times, hear from us and understand that we care about them. Secondly, uh, we must begin to ask ourselves, how are we taking the gospel to people who we've been used to coming to receive the gospel? So again, a lot of us are used to Sunday morning gatherings if we're teaching Sunday school or midweek gatherings if we're teaching Bible study, whatever that looks like. But the question now becomes, because we have a portable gospel, how are we making it portable? What are we doing to make sure that we're still using the word of God to inspire, to help, to reach those that need to be reached? Um, there's somebody in your Bible study class, HYM group, whatever it is that you're responsible for, who undoubtedly is struggling with their faith, struggling with the concept of why God would allow what's happening to happen. And the question you have to ask yourself as the one who has part of the responsibility in teaching them and encouraging them is how am I helping them to see the hope of Jesus Christ even in this situation, in a time where people are afraid of getting sick, many people are afraid of being laid off or not working for a while, uh, their resources and their funds running out. This is the perfect time for us to begin to share and use the word of God to help people recognize and see that our uh, health isn't based off of whether we get a virus or not. It's based off of who God is and how God can cover us or even heal us in the midst of contracting a virus. Also, our prosperity is not based off of how many hours a week that we work, how big our paycheck is, whether the direct deposit hits or not. Our provision comes from the one who has promised to be our provider. And so the question and the challenge that I would make for all of my fellow Sunday school teachers, Bible study teachers, preachers, pastors, whatever your role is, is what is it that you're doing to take the gospel to those that uh, may be missing it in this moment, but need it the most. Secondly, I would, I would kind of challenge us to consider maybe God in part is allowing this situation to occur, allowing us to be in a place for many of us where we are um, having to use unconventional and untraditional means uh, for sharing the gospel because he wants to prepare us to begin to use mediums of uh, sharing the word of God that we have not used before. Many of our churches may not be the media savvy type churches. Many of our churches may not even have interest in using um, different forms of media to communicate the word of God. But now in this moment, it's almost like you have to. And we can't allow or wait for our people to look to someone else, uh, those who are entrusted to us to get a clip of somebody else. But our job in this moment is to find ways to learn what we need to learn, to spend time understanding what we need to understand, to be able to stay connected to those that God has entrusted us to. And so I'd like to make a challenge and say, begin to find ways to best be able to communicate, even in this time of social distancing. Just because there's a social distance doesn't mean there has to be a spiritual distance. 
uh, we can still come together. We can still spend, still spend time together, have video chats, video conferences, whatever it looks like. Uh, spend time together studying and sharing the word of God, because I promise you now more than ever, people need hope. People to need to be reminded of the greatness of our God what God can do, what God will do, also what God has already done in their lives and in their situations. Look, everyone's doing a great job. As I've said before, we need to continue to be intentional about taking seriously the responsibility that God has given us to teach, to preach, to share the word of God, and expect that as we're faithful to sharing the word of God, that God will be faithful in changing lives. God bless you. Stay healthy.